Mary Meet. It's me, Rowan Ravenwolf, the Triple Goddess Apothecary and Reiki. I'm so excited to share this book for you with you. So while we're waiting, but before I jump into the book, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Make any comments below in the in the comments section because I'm always looking for comments um, and any anything I can add to your magical life. So without further ado, let's jump in. I'm really excited about this book. I'm going to hold it up. All right. Since I am a Reiki master and I love working with Reiki, I love unblocking my own chakras, but my family's chakras and my clients' chakras. This book really just blew my mind. Um, this is Chakra and the Vagus Nerve by C.J. Llewellyn, M-E-D-L-P-C. So um, this is... Um, I'll just hold it up again. Um, absolutely fabulous, fabulous book. I read it twice. So um, a lot of times, like when I get a book, I usually do read them a couple times, but I literally let, read it like, boom, read it again, boom. There was just so much information and um, it was just, it took me to a level that I didn't think about. What I love about it is that, um, our vagus nerve is like our communicator in the body. And she talks about that and how it's connected to our chakras and how we can work with our chakras and our entire body, all of our organs and really heal ourselves. So this was thrown out there again. It's also published by Llewellyn publishing. Um, I mean, really it, it it, it just took me personally, it took me to a higher level, um, for my own healing, because it was like, wow, this was like a whole process I didn't even think about. And the nice thing is, is it's broken down. So I had a lot of anatomy classes and such in college because of what I majored in, in college. So I was like, oh, wow, I can't believe I didn't think about this. And, um, so I, I went into it probably a little different. If, if you've had, like, if you're a nurse or if you're in the medical field, you'll probably be like, wow, this is really, really cool. If you're not, it's okay. Cause you don't have to know like all the bones and the muscle insertions and the, how the nerves work. You don't need to know all of that. Like it is broken down so well in here. And I love how I just did not like, it makes, it makes complete sense that our chakras are going to be associated with our nervous system. And it, it really helped open my eyes to, wow. So I can apply this to my life this way. So there's a lot of fabulous information. I mean, I don't even know where to start, but I, I will kind of like, um, I'm going to go through the chapters really quick. So I'll hold it up so you can see there are, um, 12 chapters. And I'm just going to like read you what is in there. So the first chapter talks about creating space for yourself, imagining safety and being a light bulb. Um, the second chapter talks about identifying freeze, um, fight or flight modes and safety modes, getting to know you. And I love the mindful walking. Um, sometimes I, I need to be reminded about mindful walking, but sometimes I just randomly do it. And I'm like, oh, I'll mindfully walk. Um, and then um, also finally in that section is find from the inside out. Chapter three is breathing and breathing in self-compassion. If you join me for meditation Mondays, a lot of time on meditation Monday, I actually tell you to breathe in a certain type of energy, but this helps you think about like, yes, you need to breathe in self-love. You need to breathe in self-compassion. We can be our own worst enemies when it comes to 
healing our trauma and making sure our chakras are open and not blocked. And so we do need to have compassion and love for ourselves. And it's something that society did not teach a lot of us. So that is like really important. I love that she had that. Um, she also talks about like, what if there's no words and the emo the emotional is the physical um, because it is. Um, chapter four is talking about body scanning, getting grounded, your precious stronghold, what you can and can't control, mindful awareness of your root chakra, and thanking your body. Chapter five is Buddha belly, um, people around you, defining emotional boundaries using value circle and emotional boundary script. Um, I found that to be real. I mean, how many of us let people violate our boundaries and we don't want to, right? And we're like, oh. so like that was, that was extremely helpful. Um, chapter six, um, how, how many thoughts looking in the mirror, fleshing out our feelings, the Jahari window, a solar plexus meditation and reality is relative with relatives. Chapter seven is be still my beating heart from the five senses of knowing and the heart chakra connection. Chapter eight is the Om chant, tapping energy through and the forgiveness prayer. Chapter nine is soft gazing, stretching the eyes, third eye connection, grounding and shielding and intuitive writing. Chapter 10 is ventral, vagal and crown chakra connection. Violet flame visualization, empathy visualization, and empathy reflection. Chapter 11 is four way breathing, time for deep re and time for deep reflection. And finally, the last chapter, chapter 12, moving differently, waking up the spine, and breathing from the heart. Um, so I hope, um, well, those are actually the exercises in the chapters. Um, There's so much here. I just, I don't even know where to start. And she's got a great bibliography. I was able to like, I actually got a couple, um, a couple of the books from the bibliography. Cause I was like, okay, this resonated with me when, um, we were in for certain parts and certain chapters. So, um, definitely, I mean, like there's a lot, she's got like chakras and yoga, um, basic trauma information, that's the first page. Grounding your body. Mindfulness, the polyvagal theory, and spirituality from the perspective of the soul. So she, she literally broke down the bibliography so that you can find what connects with you. So if you're really opening your chakras and doing yoga, go to that section. Grab some of those books. So like that's what's really, I love how she divided out the bibliography too. I always like the bibliographies because it helps me expand my knowledge. And hopefully it will help you expand your knowledge. But I was so excited about this book. So Chakras and the Vagus Nerve. Um, my book reviews post on Patreon a day before they post on YouTube. But if you are on Patreon, definitely leave comments or questions if you have any about this. And those of you on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also join my Patreon for free or you can join as a member and take advantage of the great membership benefits. As always, blessed be and namaste.